Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 as the Iranian Communist Authority, Iran. Uh, we still have some issues, uh, namely that I can't deploy any units, because reasons. Um, I should be able to deploy them. I, I did ask in the comment section last time if people could uh, leave me some tips on what the hell they think is wrong, and uh, they range from not useful, like you need to deploy your units, to, well, it might be a bug. Which is what I suspected. Unfortunately, no one seems to know exactly what to do. So my idea is that we beat Iran, and then maybe we'll come back. It seems to be related to the Civil War, and I have seen people complaining about this online in relation to nationalist Spain having a Civil War. Like, when they were controlling Spain, they couldn't deploy units for some reason. I think it's related to, if they capture your capital, you can't deploy units, even if you take their capital and your capital back. Somehow, I suspect. So what I'm going to try and do is just beat Iran, and especially try and get the capital Mashat, because at the moment I can't deploy units, it's not kind of bad. Uh, also, um, we need more steel, do we? Pretty sure we got... Yeah, I, I did get more steel in. Uh, we do, however, need to update my production for equipment, infantry equipment, which I completely forgot to do. I'm sorry about that. At least we're only upgrading. Um, total needed, total needed, total needed. I'm going to decrease the amount of military factories working on that, because that's not just upgrades, whereas I do need more artillery and stuff, especially. Start playing again. Tungsten. Okay. Um, who's the closest? Soviet Union. Land border. Right. So we need to make sure we like kick some ass and manage to. Uh, if we can take this like a province here. Right. That unit's already like depleted. A little bit. So I'm going to try and surround them and cut them off from their supplies. I think they're getting wise. They're sending units over. I think we can get there before they get there. the counterattack there to prevent them doing that. I'm going to counterattack there to prevent them doing that. We'll lose that attack, that's fine, but provided we can grab Babol, we're good. Come on! We did it. They're now cut off. Right, what do you need? Steel. Okay. We need a lot of steel. Which is fine. Like, I understand that we need steel. That's cool. But, you know. It'd be nice if we could just have a lot of steel and be happy. Rather than this constant back and forward. Ugh. Oh, dear. I still don't know how many units are here now. I did before. Not anymore. Um, right, I'm hoping that they get into the war versus France. Currently, it's just Germany and the Allies, whereas I want the entire Axis, because when the entire Axis go off, uh, they'll start fighting this way as well, and then have two fronts. That's my only hope. Um, there was an invasion going to happen in the Middle East. I think we have it covered. Yeah, you're trying to cover that, you're covering that. We have the ports, so... The only thing they could do is maybe land here to extend this border, but even then they'd have to fight their way through. Uh, we got that one. Let's get this one. And then we'll get the 50% reduction for four of them, which we can get through our focus tree. Low manpower. Yeah, I'm aware. Could be worse, could be worse. Okay, are they taking, they look like they're taking a little bit of attrition now. Just gonna make sure we keep them apart. Yes. Push them further away. We can attack the cavalry there. Because for start, it's cavalry. It's not great in combat. And for a second, like, if you look at that, 
they've got pretty terrible stats. What is that? That's strength, 22%. Also in multiple combats. Now, I'm not going to hit this unit here. They're pretty tough. We just let them burn out. Just wait. I mean, the Soviets have a plan to attack here. I don't know if they're actually ever going to, you know, implement it. Be nice if they did. Were they trying to push down here to connect? Oh, for God's sake, like, the, the Russians aren't doing anything. They're just expanding into Russia now. Iran is actually more Russia than it is Iran, almost. Can I deploy units yet? Oh, I think I need to get their capital minimum. That's if the bug is reversible. It might not be reversible. I did spoke to Dan Lin, the uh, lead producer for Hearts Fine, and he said, bug? Sounds like a bug. So I'm just hoping it's reversible. If not, this is going to be a very interesting uh, game. Yeah, they are starting to take attrition damage. Look at their green bars going down. Iran's capitulated. Great news. Um, I would like this terrain back. Hi. Uh, could you, like, give control of state? Say, mine? No, wait. Ask control state. That's the right one. Whoa! You refused? That is my state! What the hell? Can I deploy units now? Please tell me I can deploy units. No. Um... Well, I don't know quite what to do. Now, a lot of people, I will say, by the way, that I will call this a mini victory. A lot of people were like, oh no, you're going to lose. Wh why is my capital over here? I own Tehran. Why is my capital moved? Yeah, this is still worth 20 victory points and this is worth 10. Yeah, this is really messed up. Okay, um... I don't actually know what to do now. <laughs> so, right, th okay. Um, now, a lot of people are saying that, oh, no, you're screwed. You know, you've got you've got civil war, you've got a war with two major factions, and you're kind of the focal point for it. I mean, there is, of course, a war going on over here, but this is the three-way war. And actually, I think there was just as many units here as there are up there. Maybe not quite, maybe, maybe half. But still, considering that I'm a tiny nation... I think we've done really well. We're still generally outside our borders, except for the bleeding Soviet, bleeding Union. No one needs naughty words. Um, bad words, bad words, people. Uh, so I think we've done rather well. So I'm going to sort of call this a mini victory. Um, because people were saying, no, you're screwed, you're dead. No, it's game over, GG. Admittedly, it did look really bad, but we did manage to pull it back a little bit. Uh, however, now that the... the we just can't continue with this bug. Uh, so either we roll back like two, three episodes, which is like half the series, considering it's only been like, what, this is like episode seven. Uh, we roll back and we go to before I started doing the Civil War thing and I go, no. That's before we even got into a war. And I don't do the Civil War thing. Um, by the way, you might be like, well, why don't you just do the Civil War again? Maybe it won't bug. I did. I actually did that. I went to just go double check if it was a bug that was recurring, because I could just re-record the episode. Uh, yeah, it is a recurring bug. Every time I tried to initiate the Civil War, this would happen at some stage. Don't know why. Um, so we could either roll back a few episodes, or we could just say, you know, we'll come back to this mod. Let's go do Democratic Denmark. Uh, it's up to people. I don't mind, like really bugs me. Mmm, extremely hot. Uh, so, I, I'll i try and resurrect the save if I can. Um, 
I don't think there is going to be a way. I mean, it might be the case that we can resurrect it in future and we can continue the save in future, but we might have to do something else in the meantime. So it's, it's up to people. Do we want to continue the save in future? If we can fix it, in the meantime, do Democrat Denmark. Do Democratic Denmark and just leave this one and come back to it later. Or do something else like roll back a few episodes. It's up to you guys. I'll, I'll you know, read the comment section. Please reply as quickly as you can. I'm going to put this episode up nice and quick since it is a short episode and I do want to get a feeling before I maybe start rolling up more episodes. Um, yeah. Disappointing. Now, of course, we might get our core territory back when we finish the entire war because technically the civil war is not over because the civil war is an entire conflict that has got rolled into fighting the Allies. Which is the downside. We might get it back after we beat the Allies, but we have to beat the Allies, and we can't really do that with just our troops and not being able to get more troops. That's kind of a big part of the game, just gone. So, um, let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah. Stay shiny. Blech.